There, there's a bunch on the floor as well. Ooh, that's a good amount there's of seeds. There's a bunch seeds. on the floor. I'm gonna carve the, pump, a... the pumpkin that you grew next. No, we're only doing two today. So uh, the girls are doing their pumpkins. We got lots of seeds. That's awesome. Don't use a knife, children. Don't use a knife, children. Especially when your hands are. We used to have all the car pumpkin carving stuff. We're, we're carving them a bit early, but I it's. I can't do a straight line. But it's because we want the seeds. We love pumpkin seeds. The person carved theirs two weeks ago. Did they? On and YouTube? they went rotten. I know that's the problem. They go rotten. But before it goes rotten, we can throw them in the chicken coop, and they can eat them out. Make me run. Yeah, Daisy's like, what is happening? I smell it. I see it. All right, we're gonna show you guys the finished product in just a few minutes. Really? I'm gonna show you guys what they're doing. So Sophie did what she said she was gonna do. She cut out the top, got all of her gunk. Yeah, I had to take. Yeah. Um, and there's all my seeds. There's all her seeds. We're gonna cook them. Is somebody cooking them already? No. Oh, I'm gonna throw. Them. I'm gonna throw them in now because I Dad want cooks them. them better. You burn them. No, I don't burn them. I have another toothpick. I okay, so Sophie's going to do a grasshopper because our friend likes grasshoppers. And so we, she wants to do it in support of her friend. Gabby's over there making a face. We'll show you guys these tomorrow. We're going to give all this pumpkin pumpkin guts to our to our chicken. Like that? Yeah, but I would use, watch. So what I do when I have like a stencil is I just poke holes all the way along and then after I get my outline I can take off the stencil I just You're broke the toothpick it. I can take off the stencil it won't work now I'll get a new one and then you can just join the lines I with your knife I don't know you can try both ways if you want I would because wait am I supposed to do it on the whole on the line yeah It'll make like a stencil on the pumpkin. Gabby's over there chopping away. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today we're starting off in the house, doing house stuff. What are you doing, Ru Molly, Ruby? I am surrounded by dogs. Surrounded. Um, we have been cleaning out the basement, trying to get stuff all cleaned up and fresh for Christmas, because that's what we do. And we rub Molly, or we rub Ruby every single minute that we're doing it. Anyway, one thing that we do a lot of in the fall and in the winter is crafting. So I was able to find a bunch of my crafting stuff downstairs, and I'm excited. Run down off her rock and grab a cricket. You saw her hunting? Yeah, we love having the, the dragon in the kitchen. But anyway, so I found all this stuff, and I brought it upstairs, and Sophie's so excited because this is all the string that she needs. She's been, what have you been making recently? This string I need. What have you been creating? If, do you have any more of this stretchy string? I think all of it's stretchy like that. No, it's not all. Oh, okay, so what have you been making lately? Bracelets. Bracelets. Sophie's been making bracelets and some nail polish in here. That's stretchy. But that's more like, that's more. See how this one's like not stretchy, it's hard? Yeah. Oh, but I think there's some over here. Where's that stuff I just showed you? Over there. Oh. Well, anyways. So uh, this is what we're doing. We're just sorting through some craft stuff. That's all disgusting from being in the basement. We are getting ready for fall, getting stuff done. I want to ask you guys before we start this video, uh, what do you like to do? in the winter and when it's cold out and you can't get out all the time do you have like hobbies and pastimes and stuff that you like to do when you're stuck inside we like to craft a little we like to craft if we had more time i would craft more not awesome at it but i have a lot of supplies and i like that sophie's really getting into it this is one of my favorite things that i have is, is my button collection this is filled with so many buttons sometimes when you find a bunch of stuff in the basement it's like a Treasure. It's like a treasure. It's like Christmas already because I found Mod Podge and we did lots of we've done lots of crafts with Mod Podge. Yeah, there's glitter in this one. I found lots of stamp pads, but also some craft books that of some craft stuff that I've saved because these are things that I've been wanting to make. A bunch of stencils and stickers. I even have these transfer images that are super cool. Anyways, welcome back to today's video. I hope that little journey through our craft container, one of our craft containers, 
inspires some of you guys to go looking for your own craft stuff and to get up there and get crafting in this fall season. Last night I ran out of time and I just left all this stuff here and now I came out this morning and it's all set up. Sam did it. I'm not exactly sure if I love it, but I like that he did it. Ugh. Ugh. I actually kind of like what Sam did. It's adorable and sometimes just the fact that somebody does something for you makes it worth keeping because... Well, they pick my dog up and eat her. What? No, you can't pick up Daisy. Daisy's heavy. Anyway, welcome and good morning to Sunday. Usually I try and have like something for, fun for us to do on the weekend, but after last weekend and after this weekend coming and before this weekend coming up, let me tell you, we have a lot of things happening. So I just wanted to have a low key weekend so we could get things done around the farm. And that's mostly what we've been doing. Hi, huh, Penny Pickle. Looks like my girl needs a brush. Looks like. Look at this dog. I never, oh, she's, <laughs> she's like, okay, let's eat the grass. We'll be friends. See, Daisy knows how to be friends. Just do what they're doing. Try out their hobbies. Spend time together. That's how you be good friends. Who wants to bet? I can get Willow. Who wants to bet? I can get Willow. I wonder if people driving down the road are looking at me thinking like, what the heck is this girl doing? Talking with a camera, talking to herself, trying to catch a, catch a pony. Because I have a feeling this is not going to go well. Good girl, yeah. Oh, she likes me, yeah. She was perfect. She was perfect. And Gracie's always perfect. Like no matter what, she just stands there and lets you catch her, always. She's such a happy horse. Gracie, she's perfect. Yeah, we've been, so, okay, go ahead. This summer, I've been letting her get a couple of bad habits, and so we've been working the last few days on getting rid of those bad habits, and she's been excellent. But you guys saw she reared on me, and it was because horses ran up behind, or the dogs ran up behind her. Hey, you butted. Butter. Alright, come on little pony. So you guys, I want to tell you guys about how when the kids were here at Thanksgiving, it was so crazy. I didn't really get a chance to video it, I think I told you. But Brooklyn hopped on her horse, hopped on Gracie, and just rode her around like she had been riding her whole life. Like, it was so crazy. She wasn't scared anymore. Anyway, it makes me realize that she really needs riding lessons. It's just hard to get them because there's no place around her house. Smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize. And that's what made me fall in love. Cause you got the girls are working with the horse or with the ponies, and the horses are all standing over there. They were all standing over here staring at the girls. Like, what? You're taking over our arena. They're like, what do we do? You're forgetting something. Go, girl. I know, but it's good for me to say it, anyways. Whoa! Is this a problem? We found a bunch of dead earthworms. Like a lot of them. There's one right there. What does that mean? They're earthworms, not like... There's small ones everywhere. Yeah, that's gross. I believe that God talks to us all the time and gives us clue in directions that we're meant to go. And sometimes like, if you see a hundred earthworms, <laughs> it can mean it's time to deworm your horses. So our girls are due in October. Our boys just got done, so I'm gonna do that right now. Wait, our boys did just get done? Yeah. Is that why there was a huge um, thing on his neck? No, they, they take it in their mouth. Oh. It, wasn't he good this last time, though? Yeah. Just making sure our kitty has, oops, shoot. Lots of food. So uh, this is our medicine container. And this is what they're getting. All right, correction, that's what Penny's getting, ivermectin. They're all ivermectin. 
but the ponies are getting some no-name brand. But also, I wanted to tell you guys, especially in Canada, there's this stuff called Special Formula, and it looks like this. If your horse is having a problem with thrush all the time, like you just can't clear it up with regular iodine or some kind of iodine concoction. Our farrier once told us that, no, actually our vet, my vet once told me that that means that it's a different kind of bacteria that looks like thrush, does the same thing as thrush, but it can't be cured by an iodine kind of solution. So the special formula is what um, people treat mastitis in their cows with, and it works on the bacteria that causes this thrush. So Storm had this before. He had this awful thrush situation that we didn't get cleared up for a long time, even though we tried. And he told me to get this. It cost $10, and I got, like, so many bottles of it, so I would always have it. But then none of our other horses ever had that problem, and he's never had it again. Once I got cleared up, it was cleared up. So if you have resistant thrush issues, then it's possible it's a different bacteria, and you need this special formula. It's so good. It's like $5 or $10 or something. What are you doing? $10. Ten power, wash. power washing some stuff. Power washing my power wash. He's power washing his power washer. I also like to keep our empty ivermectin containers or wormer containers because you can use this to put like other medications in or put medication in like applesauce and stuff and, and do that. But yeah, our horses are about to get wormed. Everybody grab a pony. Where'd they go? I'm sorry. I know you think it's nap time. This is where they sleep. These two sleep facing each other. This one sleeps away from everyone. I know. I wish I could find a horse that loved her. That just loved her. That's medicine. She's like, oh no, I'm getting out of here. We're just waiting. <laughs> she does not like it. <laughs> She's like, I remember this stuff. Let's run. Quick. Now Penny comes. She's like, I'll test it too. What is it? She's like, oh, I like it. I'll eat it. Nope. She's out too. <laughs> All right. I'm going to video so you guys are going to have to do it. Uh-oh, here comes the third one. So you just stand in the arena for five minutes and they all come over. Nope. She doesn't want anything to do with it either. All right. All right. I can't believe how fat she is. She never gets fat, this girl. Well, when we bought her, she was even more fat than that. That was with a round bale, though. But our grass is almost like a round bale. Okay. Let's catch us some ponies. You're not going to put a halter on her? No. Oh, this cool, cool cucumber. Middle one. Yep. All okay. this? Mm-hmm. It's, it's not full. Good girl. All right, now the big one gets the big one. That's the little one. The small one for the little one. The small one. Yep. Look at those eyeballs. <laughs> I think of it as a treat that I was supposed to. All right, that one's got a lid on it. That's a big one. Oh. That's the worst one because our ponies, I can't have that one. Okay, so now it's really important that the dogs do not eat their poop for the next couple of days. I didn't bring my dog down. I know, so for the next like three days. All right, I need to get a new one for Penny. It looked like it was brand new, but it's not. Penny, you get a free pass. Like <laughs> All the horses, we walk toward them, they're like, I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go wash these containers though. I'm gonna make an Keep apple them. Account. I wanna make some apple crisps. Do you wanna make apple crisps? No, I'm making an Etsy account. Sophie's making an Etsy can apple account. Cider. Apple cider. Apple oh. cider. I wanna do some more work with Penny because I never want her to like get unused to it. So I want it to be consistent and like I said before, I need to make a schedule. But I need help with the schedule. All right, little chickens. Happy Halloween. That is disgusting, but it's your. Look at you guys, look, you've been looking a little rough. Oh, they're excited. They're adorable. It's a lot of yuck.
They're happy. It is getting dark. It's time to feed the horses and the moon is out. There's the moon. It doesn't look dark in the camera, but it is actually a dusky dark out. It's always brighter in the camera. I've been busy cleaning. Actually, this morning I went to Costco to get dog food because we didn't have any dog food. So, hour to drive there to get dog food and uh, have our look around quickly and then another hour to come back. So, that was half the morning wasted. I went in the basement, started to get some stuff. I went in the barn, and the barn is the worst. And I'll show you what that looks like. In this magical door is my room. And let me tell you, it is packed with stuff. Just packed with stuff. And the big problem I have in this room is that there's no ceiling. So, everything is like caked in dust. Everything's kicked in dust. I got all my tools over there, but then when I was cleaning out the one end over there at the end corner, I found a bunch of tools. So I have like tools everywhere. I have tools everywhere, and I think I might keep this as a winter project, even though it's going to be like freezing cold in the winter time. But my plan is to clean out that area, put a roof on it, and uh, so it doesn't get dusty. But there's also no light in there, so if I close off the ceiling, I would have, it'd be dark all the time. But anyway, so that was my plan. I was in there cleaning a bunch of stuff, tried to get my power wash running. That wouldn't start for some reason, I don't know, bad gas or something. Oh, another thing is I'm feeding the horses in the barn, out in the arena area. And it's pretty dark. You see the moon in the background. And because it's so dark now and getting colder, I'll have to close this door just so it's warm. So I fed the horses in the barn today. I put the hay out inside the arena because I'm still waiting for my mats to come in, my mats. Because it's so muddy here. It like rained a couple of days rained yesterday today wasn't too bad at all no rain but the drainage is really bad here i'm still waiting for those things to show up it should be a treat on its own and i think they'll work really good here and penny here can't see her hey, ben. she's usually over at the other end in the uh she's usually on the other end in the uh window over there she likes to eat her breakfast over there every morning when she sees me she walks all the way to this window area and this is where she eats her breakfast looks at oh at the hay <laughs> what i forgot to mention is that i got these lights from amazon just to try them out and they um they're dim during the night but when you walk by they light up so i was thinking they're not bad lights, actually. I got one on this side, one on the other door. <clears throat> now I was thinking of putting some out there, and I was looking at you can buy these LED lights that are um, like like the um, lights you have outside lighting up the street. You can buy some of those street lights. They're LED, and they're uh, charged by the solar. So. I was thinking, you know what, I need those for the um, the barn. So I'm going to get inside the barn, the uh, in the arena part. I'm going to get a couple of those and, and see how that works. Now they have different types. They have ones where you have the light inside the barn and a big long wire with the solar panels that you can hook up outside. So I'm going to try that. And that's what I'm looking for right now. So we have... Uh, at night we have light we can see in there and I also want to put uh, light up this walkway so at night you, this walkway you can't uh, you can't see where you're walking so I want to light that up yeah so there's lots of stuff to do on the farm there's always stuff to do and 
We're always pretty much too busy to do it. But this weekend we got some of it done. And yeah, and hopefully next weekend I'll have more of it to do because I have a lot of stuff to do. I have to do maintenance on the tractor. I have the new tires I need to put on for winter. And uh, yeah, and other stuff to put away. And plus it's Sophie's birthday weekend sort of thing so we'll be busy so there's a lot of stuff to do still a lot of stuff to do on the farm anyways that's it say good night we'll see you tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful